Google is finally getting serious about the future of wearable computing as it embraces head-mounted hardware with the launch of Android XR. This latest branch of the Android platform is all about tapping into the power of Gemini for a voice-first modern take on all things AR, VR, and MR all bundled up together under the XR banner. While Google's plans sound appropriately grand, Apple's already got a big head start with the Vision Pro, leaving us anxious to see what the first Android XR hardware will look like. Thankfully, we're already getting a taste of that as Google and Samsung share the latter's work on what it's calling Project Muhan. Keep in mind that this is still very much a prototype and there's no guarantee that the final headset will match every bit here. The front with its ski goggles aesthetic definitely has a Vision Pro vibe to it, but we can also see echoes of Google's own old Daydream View VR accessory. Unlike the Vision Pro, we haven't heard anything yet about any plans to recreate Apple's eyesight display on the exterior here, and the glass facade could be just for looks. Right now, Samsung's keeping a tight lip about Muhan hardware, and important details about the screen tech, field of view, refresh rate, and resolution will need to wait for another day. Even the subject of controllers is open-ended, and while Samsung has confirmed that it plans to sell Muhan with VR controllers, we don't yet have any details about what form those may take. In spite of all that ambiguity, there is one important hardware detail Samsung is willing to commit to, and that's the presence of a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 processor powering this headset. Currently, the company's top-shelf VR chip, Qualcomm introduced this silicon back at the start of the year. We haven't heard a ton yet about how Samsung intends to take advantage of it, but we do know that Muhan is planning to feature cameras for pass-through viewing and presumably augmented reality experiences, and that XR2 Plus Gen 2 promises latency as low as 12ms for natural feeling interactions. You can just barely make some forward-facing lenses out if you look very closely at the front of this prototype. Of course, Muhan will run Android XR as its OS, and even though this is a platform that's just spinning up, there's reason to be hopeful about software availability. Google has talked about porting titles from other XR operating system libraries and the steps it's taking to make that process as seamless as possible for developers. And while we haven't yet seen any firm commitments about bringing existing Android apps into the XR fold, just the fact that they share the same backbone is enough to have us feeling optimistic. We've still got a lot to learn about both Android XR and Samsung's plans for Project Muhan. The good news with Muhan, at least, is that we may not have too much longer to wait before we get a better look. With the Galaxy S25 and Samsung's next unpacked expected in the early days of 2025, the company might just find itself with the ideal opportunity to finish lifting the curtain on its XR plans. And I know you are wondering will this new XROS be able to play games? Yes, you can play games on Android XR. Even though Google has just announced its new Android XR platform and the first device to run Android XR is Samsung's Project Muhan VR headset, Samsung has curiously not pictured any controllers alongside the headset prototype. So we wouldn't fault you if you were wondering if this headset can be used to play games. The good news here is that, yes, you will be able to play games on this Android XR headset. The Android XR platform supports the majority of apps and games on the Google Play Store since it is an extension of Android, albeit you should look for apps and games that have been optimized and deemed compatible. Google is also working with partners like Qualcomm and Unity to make it as easy as possible for developers to port existing apps and games designed for other XR operating systems to Android XR, so it's clear that the platform embraces gaming use cases right out of the box. We have also been informed that the Android XR platform will have a controller API allowing devices to build support for this as an input method and subsequently make it easy to play games. Given the breadth of the platform, we also hope to see game developers optimize their games for controller use, as we reckon many touchscreen first classic titles would need a reimagining for VR. That's for the software side of the story. For the hardware, we are informed that Samsung's Project Muon headset will include controllers with its retail launch, and these controllers can be used to play games. This gives Project Muhan a good jumping point to function as a VR gaming rig, unlike the Apple Vision Pro, which isn't envisioned for use with controllers, although Apple is said to be exploring a partnership with Sony to use the PlayStation VR controllers. So if you envision using Samsung's Project Muhan VR headset or other future Android XR devices for gaming, you can keep your hopes up, you'd still have to wait a while before you can get your hands on the device, and you can grab a top-tier gaming phone to keep you busy until then. So to sum up this video here are the highlights of what has been discussed so far and what was announced today. 
Samsung is offering an early peek at its in-development project Muhan headset. The standalone hardware will run Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 Plus Gen 2 platform. Samsung intends to formally launch Muhan sometime in 2025. And for gaming on the headset named Project Muhan, Google's Android XR platform will support gaming and feature controller APIs. Samsung's Project Muhan VR headset will also ship with controllers that will help with gaming. Developers will also be able to easily port existing apps and games to Android XR, though some optimization work will be needed. What is Android XR, you might ask yourself? Android XR is as described, the Gemini era comes to headsets and glasses. In partnership with Samsung and Qualcomm, Google announced Android XR, a platform to extend your reality to explore, connect, and create in new ways. Google started Android over a decade ago with a simple idea transform computing for everyone. Android powers more than just phones, it's on tablets, watches, TVs, cars, and more. Now they are taking the next step into the future. Advancements in AI are making interacting with computers more natural and conversational. This inflection point enables new extended reality XR devices like headsets and glasses to understand your intent and the world around you, helping you get things done in entirely new ways. Today, Google introduced Android XR, a new operating system built for this next generation of computing. Created in collaboration with Samsung, Android XR combines years of investment in AI, AR, and VR to bring helpful experiences to headsets and glasses. Google is working to create a vibrant ecosystem of developers and device makers for Android XR, building on the foundation that brought Android to billions. Today's release is a preview for developers and by supporting tools like Air Core, Android Studio, Jetpack, Compose, Unity, and OpenXR from the beginning, developers can easily start building apps and games for upcoming Android XR devices. For Qualcomm partners like Lynch, Sony, and XR EAL, we are opening a path for the development of a wide array of Android XR devices to meet the diverse needs of people and businesses, and we are continuing to collaborate with Magic Leap on XR technology and future products with ARAI. Android XR will first launch on headsets that transform how you watch, work, and explore. The first device, codenamed Project Muhan and built by Samsung, will be available for purchase next year. With headsets, you can effortlessly switch between being fully immersed in a virtual environment and staying present in the real world. You can fill the space around you with apps and content, and with Gemini, our AI assistant, you can even have conversations about what you're seeing or control your device. Gemini can understand your intent, helping you plan, research topics, and guide you through tasks. Google is also reimagining some of your favorite Google apps for headsets. You can watch YouTube and Google TV on a virtual big screen or relive your cherished memories with Google Photos in 3D. You'll be able to explore the world in new ways with Google Maps, soaring above cities and landmarks in immersive view. And with Chrome, multiple virtual screens will let you multitask with ease. You can even use Circle to search to quickly find information on whatever's in front of you with just a simple gesture. Plus, because it's Android, your favorite mobile and tablet apps from Google Play will work right out of the box with even more apps, games, and immersive content made for XR arriving next year. Android XR will also support glasses for all-day help in the future. We want there to be lots of choices of stylish, comfortable glasses you'll love to wear every day and that work seamlessly with your other Android devices. Glasses with Android XR will put the power of Gemini One Tap away, providing helpful information right when you need it like directions, translations, or message summaries without reaching for your phone. It's all within your line of sight or directly in your ear. As we shared yesterday, we'll soon begin real-world testing of prototype glasses running Android XR with a small group of users. This will help us create helpful products and ensure we're building in a way that respects privacy for you and those around you. Android XR is designed to be an open, unified platform for XR headsets and glasses. For users, this means more choice of devices and access to apps they already know and love. For developers, it's a unified platform with opportunities to build experiences for a wide range of devices using familiar Android tools and frameworks. Google is inviting developers, device makers, and creators everywhere to join us in shaping this next evolution of computing. If you're a developer, check out the Android Developers blog to get started. For everyone else, stay tuned for updates on device availability next year and learn more about Android XR on Google's website. Link is down below in the description box. Subscribe to the channel and get notified of all technology news as it gets released. Appreciate the time and have a great rest of the day.